the universal clock. What is the practical use of all of this? Science does not know what time is. Science does not know what space is. Science does not know what light is. Science does not know what gravity is or where it comes from. Science does not know what the universe is. These are all facts. Does that shock you? So many people think that science has all the answers and yet we are surrounded by all this mystery. After my last video, someone asked me a very important question. Uh, yes, the Fibonacci series is creating a perfect clock and that clock reveals all these sacred numbers. But what concrete use is any of this? But remember, science does not know what time is or how the universe came to be. If I can demonstrate that the universe is somehow created using mathematical information coded into cycles of time, this discovery could rewrite all of physics and unlock all the mysteries of creation. So far, our best cosmological model has been the Big Bang theory, which arises from a singularity. But now, this theory is under great scrutiny as the James Webb Space Telescope keeps making discoveries that throw the Big Bang model into serious doubt. Some Big Bang theorists are now saying the universe might be an eternal cycle of Big Bangs. Remember this because, according to the Big Bang, time itself only comes into existence at the point of the singularity. So, if there are cycles of Big Bangs, it follows that we would have cycles of time. Aside from that, you might have heard numerous new scientific theories stating that the universe may, in fact, be a simulation, exactly as we see in the Matrix movies. Everything you see around you could simply be a virtual construct, similar to a computer game. Go and do a simple search right now on YouTube and you will find hundreds of videos discussing this simulation hypothesis. The truth is, nobody knows for sure what the universe is. In these videos, I have shown you how the Fibonacci series is creating a perfect 60-digit human clock and how that clock is encoded with vast amounts of mathematical information. When we take that Fibonacci 60-digit clock and enter it into the Vesica Pisces, it immediately generates the number 360. We use 60 to measure time and we use 360 degrees to measure space. Einstein said the universe is made up of a fabric of space and time, which he called space-time. Now look at this Fibonacci clock once again. The entire clock adds up to 280. But if I subtract all the fives which act like the zeros and mark off the 12-hour marks, I get 280 minus 40 equals 240. Uh, see the first few videos for an explanation of this. So the Fibonacci 60-digit clock less the fives adds up to 240. We have 24 hours in one day and we use 360 degrees on a compass. Now look at this. If I create a circle with 360 ticks on its circumference, like a compass with 360 degrees, and I assign a value of 240 to each one of those ticks, Imagine that each one of those ticks is one Fibonacci clock. When I do this, I get a circle with a circumference value of 360 times 240, which equals 86,400 units. Remember, we have 86,400 seconds in one day. That's 60 minutes times 60 seconds times 24 hours equals 86,400. This is very similar to the Mayan concept of smaller cycles of time within larger cycles of time. Here I have taken the Fibonacci clock, which equals 240, and I have inserted it on a compass that has 360 degrees to create this larger clock, which has a value of 86,400. I have essentially blended time and space to create what I call a universal clock. Now look at this. Do you know what the radius of a circle is if its diameter is 86,400? The radius will be 13,750. Incredible. The radius of this circle created from a mixture of time and space produced by the Fibonacci 60-digit clock is 13,750. Do you know what scientists calculate the age of the universe to be? 
13.75 billion years. And that means if we look out into space in any direction, the furthest we can see back in time is a radius of 13.75 billion years. That is when they say the singularity occurred. I believe that what science is seeing as the age of the universe is simply the radius of a circle that has a circumference of 86,400 units. As the Earth rotates on its central axis, it is creating a circle around us with a circumference value of 86,400 units. But bear in mind that that circle has no objective size. A second is only a second relative to us. There is no objective value of one second. As per Einstein, time is relative. The circumference of that circle is only 86,400 seconds because we humans have somehow settled on these units for measuring time. The radius of that circle is 13,750 units. What science is calling the age of the universe is simply the radius of this circle that is created as the Earth rotates. Yes, science says it is 13.75 billion years, but once again time is relative. One billion years to us could be one second to an entity moving at close to light speed. All that really matters here is the ratio of the circle's circumference to pi. I have calculated the radius of space-time as being 13,750 units using only the Fibonacci 60-digit clock as a foundation. First, we use the Fibonacci clock to generate the number 360, as seen in the Vesica Pi Cs. This gave us our 360 degrees. Then I projected one Fibonacci cycle of time onto each one of those 360 degrees, and the result was this universal clock with a circumference of 86,400 units and a radius of 13,750 units. There is, of course, much more hidden in this universal clock, which we can get into later. One thing you should note is that 137.5 is also the Fibonacci golden angle. Science has fallen for the illusion that the universe is 13.75 billion years old based purely upon observational data that is only relative to us. This is akin to early religions saying we are the center of the universe based purely upon what they could see. The universe is, in fact, eternal. The universe works like a giant clock, exactly as Isaac Newton imagined. Mathematical information stored in cycles of time are generating the universe we see around us. There was no Big Bang. What physicists see as the radius of time is simply the radius of an infinite circle, which we have given a value of 86,400 units. Once again, why did our ancient ancestors settle on using 60 for our clocks and 360 degrees on our compasses? And how can the Fibonacci series be randomly generating all of these numbers? Why did the Mayans believe that the universe was created by smaller cycles of time moving within larger cycles of time? Clearly none of this is random. And remember my blackout where I lost 216 minutes of time where 1,205 minus 341 equals 864. 864 units is the large cycle of time using our units of 60. How crazy is all of this? Before you answer that question, remember that science does not know what time is or what the universe is. And some Big Bang enthusiasts themselves are now saying the Big Bang may be cyclical? You don't have to start worshipping me or believing any of this as though it is religious dogma. But ask yourself, is it possible that the universe is simply created using mathematical information stored within waves of time? I know it is possible because many serious scientists are now theorizing that the basic building blocks of reality may be purely informational. But how can that be possible, right? How can mathematical information coded into waves of time be converted into the physical universe we see around us? What I will show you next will stun you. If you are intrigued by all of this, please click like and please share these videos. The world needs to hear this. And make sure you subscribe so that you can get the next video as soon as it is published.
I will see you soon with more incredible, mind-blowing revelations given to me by some super powerful entity that could snap me in and out of time without me feeling a thing. Be sure to watch the previous videos for that story. I will link them under the video description.